Hello, good evening, and welcome to Off Track Small Talk. Tonight, I'm going to be chatting to Frankie Wayman Jr. Jr. about his new shell car, and we're going to bring you some exclusive pictures of said car. Good evening, Frankie. Hey, good to see you. You too. You're a very difficult man to track down. We tried to arrange last week, you ditched me for the football. It's yeah. been very hard work. Well, very busy at the minute. You know, it's uh, we're only a week away from the season starting, so it's it's flat out at the minute. We've got we've got four or five cars to get ready, <laughs> and none of them are ready yet. But some of them are close. Some of them are still fairly far away, like mine. Yeah. Okay. So I, you you are excused. I, I did know you you were very busy, and I, and I kind of get that. So I do appreciate your time uh, this evening. Um, so the focus now is very much on your uh, brand new shell car. So how long ago did you make the decision that that's what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a new car for for shell. I've actually been building it for a few years. Um, <laughs> it's been one of them where it's something I've got on with when I had the time. You know, obviously <laughs> I've been doing season after season of doing almost every meeting, and then it, it's it's one of them where. Once you get into the season, not a lot gets done to it. Yeah. And it's it's you're working week in, week out to get the cars ready for weekend after weekend and it just gets put in a corner and not touched. So it's it's been a long time coming. Uh but I'm I'm glad I've done it. Because yeah. it's you know, it's it's there now and I'm happy. So was the one thing in particular that made you go, I need to finish that, I need to do that? Uh well Last last full season I did I was I was competing with the one car, yeah. and it's it's hard work to be honest. It's you've got set up on its own is is a nightmare. It's a lot easier to set up for shale, but then when you take it from shale back to tarmac, you know I could do it and I could do a full tarmac meeting and you'd get it somewhere near for the national, yeah. And then the next weekend it'd be shale, so you'd have to change it all back again. Yeah. So it's it's one of them where I I if it was a shale meeting then a tarmac meeting then shale meeting I was I was most likely going to skip the tarmac meeting because you, you just you know you trying to set a car up during yeah. a race and it, it's it's just during a meeting and it's just it's hard work. Yeah, no, I get that absolutely. Cause when, when we chatted to Danny, obviously he's going the dual surface uh, route this year, but his view was actually I, I might miss the odd meeting here and and there is. Is your intention actually you want to do all the meetings, so having two cars at your disposal makes it easier? I, I want to do the majority of the meetings. I, I don't think I'm going to do all of them. Um, but it's 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 not just setup-wise. It's the case of if you get damage one weekend, it, you know, if you have two cars, if it's a, a different surface the weekend afterwards, you've got then a few weeks to fix the car that you've got plenty of damage to. Whereas yeah. if you've just got the one, you've you've got to fix that car roof for the next weekend, and it's it can be a lot to do. Like, but uh, mm. Danny Danny does it really well. He's got you know he's got two front axles. He, he changes a lot on his car from shale to tarmac, and then yeah. that way you can leave a lot of it set up ready for tarmac, yeah. and it's it's a lot quicker to to get the car right. And he he does it well, and he oh, the car goes well. Yeah, but Absolutely. it's it's in it's still easier to have two cars. Yeah, okay, lovely. And in terms of, you mentioned at the beginning, obviously you're very busy, Kingsland is less than a week away. Is it a case of very much going to be burning the midnight oil to, to get yourselves there on Saturday night? Yeah, most likely. I, we've got me, my car in, my dad's car in at the minute. Um, dad's car's just had a uh, new bumpers and nerves on it, so that's almost ready, to be fair. But uh, my car's still a long way off, and we've got plenty to do to get it ready uh it's it's one of them where it's all the fiddly jobs you know i've got i've got the engine in now i've got both axles in and it, it's just stuff like wiring and uh brake lining and oh, jo little jobs that take up a lot of time and yeah it's, you can look at a job and think oh, i'll get that done now and it takes three times as long as you thought it would yeah but it's, it, it's worth it in the end because it's uh it's, it's coming together nice brilliant and, and we'll see it very shortly. Um, what we said there about made me think about when we chat to Joe Booth and he's saying that he'd go in the workshop and you spend all night in there and walk out and go, what have I done? I can't actually see what I've done. You know, like when you're doing those sort of fiddly little things that take forever, but are important. Yeah, definitely. It's it's one of them where you can have 
sometimes you can have a few hours on a car and depending on what jobs you're doing it looks like you've done two days work yeah you know you, you've you've say when i come to put the axles in both axles can go in within you know a matter of hours yeah and then you stand back and look at it and it looks like you've done a couple of days worth of work because there's yeah. just that much of a difference but then you've got jobs like uh i was mounting the brake cylinders well not mounting them but uh mounting these the little tubs that hold the brake fluid and it took a few hours and it, it just <laughs> It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fiddly little jobs, and it's it's one of them where you look back after it and you you go, it doesn't look like I've done out here, but yeah. you have, and it's it's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, so you've, you're keeping uh, the car that you've been racing sort of last couple of years for for tarmac. Is that because it's better suited to that surface, in your opinion? And you know, you would benefit from having a, a new shell car. Yeah, yeah. Originally, it was um, it was a tarmac car. It's it's quite an old car now. It's a, uh, I think we figured out in two thousand and four mm-hmm. that car was built. So I was four years old. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> That's scary. That's really yeah. scary. <laughs> but it's uh, I've completely redone it again, and uh, it's, I just want to keep it as an out and out tarmac car now. And it's it's one of them where it's you know even if you don't if you don't completely redo it. You'll still be fine shale on it, if, even if yeah. you've raced it on tarmac for three years. Yeah. But it's it's been completely redone. I'm having new front axle, new back axle. The engine's been redone, and it it, sh- it should be an out and out tarmac car, and I'll I'll be happy then. Yeah, good. So it does sound like you're going to have two uh, great cars at your disposal for for the coming year, which is which is pretty news. Um, so you, you are coming into your seventh season in Formula One. Are you happy with your progress? Yes. Oh, no, seventh. seventh. Um, yeah, yeah. Seventh. It it oh. says on my bit of paper here from Nigel Anderson. Seventh. I mean, if it's wrong, <laughs> I don't uh, know. Is that is, is that right? It can't be seven. I think it's six. Well, it's not. What, it's it's not that much. Much. <laughs> it was more than, more than I thought it was. Anyway, thinking about. Okay, you come in. So let, right. So we won't edit this out. We'll edit this out. So you come into your sixth or seventh season in Formula One stock cars. Um, are you happy with your progress so far? Yeah, yeah, I, I am and I aren't. I mean, uh, I'd like to have achieved more, but I've, uh, you know, it's it's hard. It's a hard sport, and I think now that I've got myself sorted with two really decent cars, I'm gonna, you know, I want I want to push myself. I, I think I could have done better, but. Then again, I think it could have gone worse. So yeah, I, now I want to push myself to see how far I can go. Yeah, I mean I've been watching stock cars for uh, not that, not that long at all, really, um, and I'm not that old. But it does feel that at the minute that the, the, the sort of the competition is is tougher than it ever has been. You know, you've got your established stars, you've got all these people coming in, um, sort of new young drivers. It just feels really tough, doesn't it, out there? It must do. Yeah, it is. It's it's one of them where you can have. You can have yellow tops and white tops that are very similar speed to the superstars, and it's you, you look at the not just the distance in between where they start, but the the amount of cars you have to come through when you're starting from red or superstar. It's just you, you, you know you, you're chasing something that you're not that much faster than, yeah. and you have to you have obstacles in your way, and it, it's, <laughs> it's it's very hard. It is yeah because there's that many good cars out there now. You know if you start you. you Dad, of, my dad's saying if you, they used to get to a meeting, then there, there'd be six quick cars, and the rest of them wouldn't be, you know, much competition. But now you're getting to the point where there's there's six slow cars. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, everyone else is a very, very similar speed, and yeah. I think you're seeing, especially on tarmac, you're seeing a lot more lower graders win races, which is, you know, it's good because yeah. it, it it makes it more anyone can win it. Yeah, and that can be very entertaining, and it's, but it's it's definitely hard. Yeah, very. Okay, um, so before we reveal your shell car for this year, have you done anything sort of different? Have you brought any new ideas into it? Anything you've sort of tried to do that's not been done before? Uh, not particularly. It's a lot of it's very. It, it's a copy of my dad's shell car, basically. You know, it's it's one that I've built, but. I've had all my dad's advice and I've had his car to, to measure and it's more or less a copy. Yeah. But he's, 
you know, it's it's something that I'm proud of because it's the first car I've built from scratch. And, you know, my tarmac car, when I redid that the first time, that was, you know, it, we, we ended up cutting that much off it that we ended up with chassis legs and a roll cage. So, uh, you know, you weren't, I'm not far off building that from the scratch, but this one is just brand new. Everything's new on it. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's you, you stand back and look at it and you, you feel quite proud because you've done that. And, yeah. Uh, but as far as it goes with, um, with setup and stuff, it's a, it's very similar to my dad's. Yeah. Which, well, to be fair, it's not a bad, bad car to copy in some respects, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. No, it's a, it's a very good car and it's, you know, it's obviously, it's one of the quickest cars on track. My dad's been around a long time. I think he knows what he's on about you now. So, uh, I'm, okay. I'm looking forward to taking it around. Brilliant. Um, right, we've been building it up for a good uh, while now. So, Frankie, it's over to you to reveal your shell car for the 2021 season. So, this is my new shell car. It's, um, well, it's obviously one I've built myself. It's it's all brand new, so I'm very proud. Uh, looking forward to the season. I've got a few things that I want to achieve in it. Uh, I, I want to get in the shootout, and I want to, I want to win some more finals. Hopefully, so I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be excited. The car does look absolutely fantastic. I, I really like the the colour scheme you've gone for this year. Thank you very much. It's uh, I've got to say a massive uh, thank you to Steve Reedman and um, Billy Higgins. I uh, I dropped it off with Steve and I I didn't really know what I wanted and he uh, he, he said what colour do you want it? I said I quite like red cars. You know, I've had I've had one before and it's and he's uh. He said, oh, I think I've got a good paint. I've got a good colour. I'll put it on for you. I said, yeah, that'll do. Thank you very much. I didn't even see the colour. And then I've, I've come back and I've picked it up and I've, you know, I'm very happy with it. And then Billy Higgins has worked his magic and, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with it, how it's turned out. Yeah. No, I, I can see why, you know, you, throughout this, you've, you've come across as being incredibly proud of, of what you've done, you know, like I say, it's the first car you've built yourself, and um, absolutely, it does look fantastic. So, you know, real credit to you. Um, Thank you very before much. we before we go, uh, just a bit of insider information, if you don't mind. So, um, we spoke at the back end of last year when you won your final at Kings Lynn in the wet. Um, you know, looking outside the window, going to stop car meeting, you probably do well today because it is friendly down that side. Um, but also as part of that meeting, you know, we we had uh, the start of a new rival rivalry. Uh, obviously, your dad and Mark Sargent. Um, do you think it's playing his mind at all over the close season? Um, is he is he kind of is he running scared, your dad, or is he all right? I think he's all right to be honest. So he's he's, uh, <laughs> he's 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 used to it. I mean, you look at the years he. He had with uh, Andy Smith and Rob Speak, and you know they were. He's, he's he's used to taking hits. He's used to giving hits, and it's it's just another one of them things, isn't it? And he got his toolbox today. I saw. He did, yeah, yeah. He was uh, he was quite happy, you know. <laughs> yeah, straight on Facebook with a picture. So yeah, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was good to see. Then, yeah, Mark's been a good sport and put one back at him. So you know, it's, it's all it's all good it's all good fun it is absolutely and i think it just it you know you know absolutely i think it's uh certainly for the crowd and for fans that's what people like to see it's good it's all good fun and um absolutely there's a there's a title at stake as well at the end of it so um i have to see what happens at bradford yeah, um, i'm looking forward to it yeah because you, you'll be are you are you in are you in that uh rainbow roof thank you after i wasn't until king's lane i played me joker at king's lane and uh, I think I'm 10th row inside, maybe. Oh, okay. So, so you might have a good view then. You might have a good view, like, as you're sort of racing around of what's going on. Maybe. Don't know. I'll just be trying to avoid the chaos in front. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Frankie, thank you so much for your time this evening. Um, good luck in terms of finishing everything off uh, for the car for Kings Lynn. And um, fingers crossed it goes as well as it looks.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.